there was a little black girl that was adopted by a white family. And this little girl was racially tormented in her school. I mean, so much so that the girl was saying, cause she just turned white. I mean, this is how bad it was. So let's go ahead and roll that clip. She begged me to turn white. I wanted to die. It's heartbreaking. Yes, a mother. That was the moment April and Rob Malik said enough. Their 14 year old daughter who was adopted is black. And the Malik say had been tormented at school because of the color of her skin for months. She got to a point where she'd wake up in the morning and she's like, okay, great. Now what, what are they going to say today? What are they going to do today? As detailed in the federal lawsuit, everything from go back to the plantation and pick cotton to we're going to shoot all the and used a racial slur. The Malik's have a long paper trail with the Croswell Lexington High School administration. In the beginning, they were, uh, yeah, let's, let's get this done. We're going to investigate. Except the Malik's and their attorney, Deborah Gordon, say nothing was done. You have adults standing by and not taking action. Like staff who were told to escort their daughter for her safety, telling her she was, quote, using the race card. The district refutes these claims completely in a statement which in part says, quote, we do not tolerate harassment of any sort, including racial harassment. And, quote, if any alleged harassment is found to have occurred, it is immediately and appropriately addressed and stopped. Let me say something to white parents. Some white parents do watch our show um, because they want to learn, you know, about uh, black people, cause they could have black children. They could have a black spouse. I've had people in the past, you know, who are white parents ask me questions and, you know, I try to answer those questions as they come to me because I know they're seeking help because they really don't know what, um, they're going to fully deal with having an adopted black child. Um, this is why I, you know, just would say that it is better for black children to be adopted into a family that have black people in it because they relate to what black people in America go through. You understand? But white parents, what you like to do is you adopt these black children and then you want to take that black child to your lily white areas that you, you know, either grew up in or what you used to. You can't do that. That's just be real. A lot of people in your community are freaking white supremacists. That's just bottom line. And just, just my life experience as a black man living in America, I will say, you know, definitely about 85% of your community is white supremacists. Either they open white supremacists or they closet it, but that's about where they are. And the reason why I say that number is so high is because you look at the politicians, what they push, you look at what just the average people in your community like to push. And it's usually anti-black racism. It is nothing about a quality of just not only black people, but it's a quality of all people. You don't push equality. You don't push uh, uh, what's right. You know, you want to keep racism, white supremacy going. You have to be, be, admit this. I've talked to many white people who have openly told me that yes, uh, the majority of us are white supremacists in our thinking we are. And I had to get away from my family because I've ended up finding out that wasn't right. I've had a few white people in my day just tell me the real, and I respect those white people that do that because they're going against their culture to do it because the culture is anti-black racism. So you cannot take this black child and immerse them in an area of just lily white. You can't do that. Now, if you want to move to an, a diverse area where you have a good amount of black kids, they got white kids, they got Asians, they got Hispanic, they got just a little of everybody. Okay. Do that. That's fine. Or, you know, cause I mean, I don't expect y'all to move to a black area. So I'm just being, that's about the most I probably gonna go with you. Move to a diverse area, go to live, be in a diverse school district a diverse neighborhood where your daughter or your, your adopted son could have, you know, some black friends and things like that, or what they going through, they can kind of, you know, talk, get you some black friends that, you know what I'm saying? That get some, so you can ask, you know, certain questions or they can even help you if you're going to do it. Listen, I, people will, you know, of course you're going to have people that say, yo, y'all shouldn't be adopting black children. Anyway, I, I'm just a realist. I know it happened. And the people that's talking like that ain't control the crap. So what I'm trying to tell you is at least do that because when you take that black child and you put them in a lily white area 
And I know from experience, the more it, that that is more dominating of, you know, your people group, it's going to be more white supremacy. I know this. This is why I teach black people don't move in areas where they number is under 10% because it's always spelled trouble for black people. I understand that this is what I do. I didn't wrote two books on white supremacy and I can probably write a lot. Well, I can write a lot more. I got another title on my board that I want to get to, but I got some other things in my head. I want to write first before I get to that next book about white supremacy. You understand? So, once again, if you adopt a black child, move to a diverse area. That's what I'm saying, because it's going to be your fault. If that child even do something to themselves or they are successful at doing something to themselves, it's going to be your fault because you took that kid and put that kid in, in, in a lily white area with a bunch of white supremacists. These, these parents that suing, when that girl started dealing with that issue and problem, you should have took that girl out of that school and moved somewhere where the area is diverse. You didn't do that. So you, are part of the reason why she went through that. Cause you could have dealt with that. So if you, if you wanted to live your life being Lily white, don't adopt black children. That's one thing that I can say is a lot of issues and problems in this country that come along with black people. And most of you don't want to deal with those issues and problems. You don't. So since you don't, you know, I mean, just, you got to think about that. Now there's white children that can be adopted. I know there's a lot of white children that's in the system. It would be better to adopt white children. But if you choose to adopt a black child, just move to a diverse area. That's the only thing that I'm saying. We just, I try to give a solution to people that could be watching that's in the same situation, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this. You know, this, this, this story, I hate this happened. I mean, this is literally, you know, racialized uh, terrorism. This is exactly what it is. And I hate this for this baby.